If you've started to write chord charts in other apps, you may be interested in moving those chord charts into Onsong. While Onsong supports a variety of file formats, it's best to convert your charts before importing them if it's supported by the app. In this video tutorial, we will show you how to import your pages documents into Onsong and then convert them into text for best results. Here we have our sample chord chart open in pages. To move this into Onsong, Tap on the share icon in the upper right corner. It looks like a square with an up arrow. Then choose open in another app. Because of changes in the new file format, we recommend converting the document to Word or PDF for best performance. Let's choose Word which converts better, then choose copy to Onsong. Onsong will load and prompt us if we want to import the file. We tap yes. And there we go. Now, we could just view this file as is, but let's convert it using Onsong so we have more features available to us. Tap on the pencil icon to open the song editor. Then tap on the convert file button at the bottom of the screen. Onsong is going to prompt us to make sure we want to convert the file, so we just tap yes. Our song text will now appear in the song editor. Now the first thing you'll notice is our key information is part of the title. I'm going to delete that and then use the metadata editor to select the key. Tap on the I icon in the upper left corner and then choose C as the key. The next thing we'll notice is that our chords are not aligned properly. This is because our original document used a variable width font which made us use lots of spaces to align the chords above lyrics. The conversion process just converts the Word file to text and keeps all those spaces. Let's tap on the wrench icon to open Text Tools and then choose Fix Alignment Spaces. This brings the chords much closer to where they should be, but not quite perfect. We're going to make a few adjustments. Here you can tap and hold to move the cursor or use these arrow keys in the lower right corner to move the cursor more accurately. Then we're going to use the backspace and space keys on the keyboard to place the cursors where we want them. The last thing we might have seen in the pages document was that it had some formatting. Converting the text removes that formatting. I'm going to use line formatting to add it back. I put an asterisk in front of lines I want bold, a slash in front of lines I want italic, the exclamation point lets me bold and italicize a line. I can type an ampersand, red, and colon to make the text red. Check out the Onsong user manual for more information about how you can format your chord charts and provide line formatting. When I'm done, I tap done and view my song. Now I can use the style preferences menu to highlight chords or transpose them. I can even tap here to enter low light mode. I hope that helps get you started taking music you've wrote in pages and moving it into your Onsong library. If you have any questions, be sure to check out our support page at onsongapp.com support.